بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد The position of Salat in the religion of Islam is extremely, extremely important and great. Azim. And Salat is one of the Arkan al Islam. It's the second pillar of Islam after bearing witness that there is no God worthy of worship except Allah and that Muhammad ibn Abdullah is the last prophet and messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And with that being said, and it being the second pillar, it lets us know the importance. And it is also after the shahada, after the bearing witness that there is one God worthy of worship, there is no God worthy of worship except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and that Muhammad ibn Abdullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was the last prophet and messenger. After that pillar, there is no other pillar after the shahada and after salat in which the sahaba were united on that the person who left it was a hypocrite. Showing us the importance of making the prayer. And making the prayer in its time, as the Prophet ﷺ said, when he was asked about the some of the greatest deeds that a person can do, he wasallam said, Salat ala waqtiha. He said, prayer during its time. Letting us know that prayer during the time of the Salat, for example, Fajr, during the time for Fajr, and Dhuhr, in the time of Dhuhr, when the, when the sun reaches the point when it becomes Dhuhr, up until the beginning of Asr. That is the waqt of Dhuhr. And Salat al-Asr, from the beginning time of Salat al-Asr, till the end, which is uh, when Maghrib, when the, the sun begins to set. Letting us know that Salat is in accordance with specific times. And we must strive our best. So when we get used to this in the West, we become accustomed. We say, oh, Salat at 4.30. That doesn't mean Salat is exactly, perhaps Salat comes in a little bit earlier than that. Or Salat comes in exactly at that time. So that means you have uh, a certain amount of time to complete your prayer, which is within the, the time of, the, of, of that prayer. So Salat ala waqtiha, kama qala Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, is the, uh, one of the best deeds that you can do. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about the time for Salat, qala subhana, inna salata kanat ala mu'minin kitabin mokuta. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that verily the prayer is prescribed during certain times for the believers. Letting us know that we have to ilzam be waqt. We have to strive our best to pray salat during its time. Something else that lets us know the greatness of the prayer is that the Prophet ﷺ said about the prayer and the one who leads it, Qala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, man taraka salat faqad kafara. Whoever leaves the prayer has disbelieved. So letting us know again the importance of adhering to the prayer and adhering to the prayer during its time and never ever leaving your prayer. Salat Kama ta'lamun ayyuha ahabba As we are all aware of that Salat has specific times And Salat is an obligation Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Wa aqimu salat You know, pray the prayer Pray the five times prayer We know it's a pillar of Islam 
And by knowing that and understanding that, we have to know that there are preconditions for our prayer. The shurut for salat. And one of the, the conditions for prayer is that, is the waqt, is the time. Knowing the time for the salat and praying salat in its time. So, in order to have our prayer accepted, we must pray it in the waqt of salat. And with regards to that, what happens if our salat is delayed for some reason outside of its time? So, for example, there is two times for the salat. There's the the time, the best time, afdaliyah or jahiz, and then there is the time which is itirari, where it becomes when it's absolutely you must pray. That means the last part of the time that the prayer is in that you must make the salat in that time or you will miss the prayer. So what happens if due to sleeping or due to uh, some other reason that we're delayed from the, the prayer? So if we're delayed from the salat, and perhaps we wake up late and it is very close to Maghrib or the Salat, it is it's very close to Maghrib. So the, we're at the, this is the Waqta Ittirari. We should pray the prayer at ASAP if it, if it was due to sleeping. We should pray it as soon as we wake up. And so for example, if it is now Salat Al-Asr, the time for... Salat al-Asr. But it, we, we woke up and it's just a couple of minutes before Maghrib. As long as we... If we make takbir, Allahu Akbar, we entered the prayer before that Salat, that Salat, Salat al-Asr has, has, has been out, then we have... Gained, then we have um, uh, we where our prayer is still valid. We're still in the time for the salat. So and that is praying it down to the last minute. So obviously, if someone were to do that on a regular basis, that would be one of the signs that the Sahaba used to look at as a sign of hypocrisy. You know, those people, as is mentioned in Surah Al Ma'un who delayed their prayer intentionally. They do pray, but they're careless with their prayer. So that would be the carelessness that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is describing in Surah Al-Ma'un. Alladheena ala salatihim Where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Arayta alladhi yukadibu biddeen fadhalika alladhi yudu'u al-yateem wa la yuhuddu ala ta'am al-miskeen fawailu lil-musalleen Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala warns against the musalleen those people are praying. Now why would people who pray be, be warned with a stern warning which shows that there's a punishment tied to that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says woe, when he says wail in the Quran. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says فَوَيْلٌ لِلْمُسَلِّينَ الَّذِينَ هُمْ عَلَذِينَ هُمْ عَلَى صَلَاتِهِمْ سَاهُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says those, he warns those people who are lazy and careless with the prayer. So the person who does that, who does not take the necessary steps, they sleep every day through a certain prayer, Fajr, Dhuhr, Asr, whatever it is, they're always constantly late praying it outside of its time, they definitely fall under that. Because then they've missed their prayer if it's outside the waqt and they're committing a grievous sin that they need to make toba from. But what if it happens to us once? We know that as long as we make the takbir, Allahu Akbar, 
and it's still, even if it's 30 seconds left of, uh, of Salat al-Asr, then, and we continue, in, and we continue praying, we're praying, and it is into the waqt of Maghrib, our prayer is still okay. It's still valid. And this is on the madhab of Imam Ahmed. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.